Hey guys, it's Heather from Project K9. I am uh, coming to you from our console room and um, just kind of thinking about um, some things that have happened uh, recently with a couple training dogs and um, I kind of wanted to reach out to them. Um, for those of you who have done training with me who are still struggling with problem dogs, um, this video is for you. So I'm going to make this really quick. Um, it's not a how-to video or um, a hands-on approach of anything. It's basically just a little word of encouragement. And um, just to remind you that progress is not always linear. So you don't always just climb a ladder um, to get to where you want to be. Sometimes there's a little progress here, but a little slip up over here. And it's it can be very messy. So, um, you know, especially think about our lives um, as people. We are all over the place. Sometimes we're very scattered. Um, sometimes we have issues in one area that trickle over into other areas. So if you're not getting enough sleep or something like that, it affects um, your relationships, your work performance, your attitude, um, whether or not you want to work out that day or whatever. Um, but anyway, um, that's kind of a, a little bit different of an example that I'm trying to make. But um, basically, when you're working with your dog, um, be patient. Let them let them learn at the pace that's comfortable for them. So sometimes that's very slow and other times they pick up on it really quick. Every dog is different and that's totally okay. Um, but I, I did want to make a video just because there have been some of my clients lately that are like, oh he's doing so well in some areas but he's so horrible or he's regressed in other areas. Um, it's typically, it's, it's part of the learning process. Um, it, it can happen. It doesn't with every single dog, but it can happen. I've seen it with my own personal dogs as well. And you just have to um, kind of take a little bit of a non-emotional approach. Um, just like when you're learning something new, um, if you haven't practiced it in a little while, it's not going to be as good as if you were practicing it every single day. So, you know, for me, I actually make fun of myself quite a bit that my handwriting is freaking horrible. Um, it is, and it used to be very good. But as I've gotten older, I don't use handwriting. I don't write as much as I used to. I type and I text and I get on my computer and I make videos and things like that. I don't sit down and write a, write novels and books and essays and things like that. And so everything is kind of regressed and it's something that I don't really care to perfect. So, um, you know, it, it'll diminish and people will hopefully be able to still read my handwriting in 20 years. But anyway, um, when you're working with your dog, things that they're struggling with you need to do more often. Um, they will have ups and downs and they'll have good days and bad days just like we do. It's not always just straight up and climbing a ladder. It'll be a lot of this. So, um, and that's okay. Just um, kind of take a, a, not a hands-off approach, but a little bit more of a, um, or less of an emotional response to things like that. Um, and you won't get as frustrated. If you don't have the emotions to put into it, um, and you're just looking at it from, okay, I'm training the dog, this is what we're doing, they're doing really great, okay, move on. Um, you know, you you are actually helping the dog quite a bit more. Um, dogs don't understand human emotions. They don't have those type of um, receptors in their brain to handle those type of things. They do understand energy. So when you're frustrated, you're directing that at them, and it, it slows down the learning process. So just be really patient. Take a, a non-emotional approach if you can. Um, kind of take a step back. It's like teaching a child. Um, you're going to have to remind them a few times. Um, just because, you know, they're three years old, you told them once, they're not going to re remember it. And if they do, they're, they make mistakes. They're learning. Um, I've been told, and I don't know how true this is because I don't know how you can gauge this, but I have been told that a dog's brain is similar to a three-year-old child's brain development-wise. Um, there's a lot of um, cognitive development that happens when kids are around three years old, three to four years old. And... Um, Dogs also have cognitive um, capabilities. They are able to feel their own set of emotions. Um, but what our way to translate that is through energy. Um, and so you want to be really careful about the energy you're sharing with them. Um, and just remember that they do have um, a learning curve that they need to um, you know, go through as well. So I hope you all are doing well on this uh, lovely Wednesday. And um, if you have questions or anything like that, please post them in the comments. And we will see you all next time.